Hi guys, it's Melissa again from madebymelcrafts.blogspot.com. I just wanted to share um, a little box that I had made. Um, I got the idea from a YouTube video, but it was about two years ago, so I'm not sure um, who posted it, but I'm sure it's probably still up. And what this is, I used this Stampin' Up! Um, top Note die, the box. Um, and so maybe if you um, put in the YouTube search, sorry, that's my phone going off. Um, maybe if you put in the YouTube search, um, Top Note die box or top note box um you could probably find um the nice video that the woman had with a tutorial on how to make the actually make the inside box portion of this so what i did for this is i actually it takes four um i don't know some of you probably have it so it's something that you can make but if not let me see if i can find the die to show it to you because it was in here yeah here it is i just used the stamp it up um top note die here it is here um, and, whoops, I cut out, you have to cut out, I cut out four of them total. So what I did was, um, this is double-sided paper and it was pretty thick, so I used that because it was like a higher quality. And I cut it out, um, four times on, I had a 12 by 12 sheet, so one cheek will cover it. Um, but I cut it out four times and I used the reverse side, so this back piece here, is the Stampin' Up! die and I just trimmed around it so trimmed around this pattern one so that a little mat would show around that and also so I could hide the see the ribbon going across so that's attached back there um, but I ran the top piece through the cuddle bug and then like I said I cut the two pieces out and I flipped because the back side of this paper is orange um, so I put um, I layered two on each so there's that makes the front and that makes the back and then I just run it through with the Swiss oh, what is it not Swiss dots I'm lying the swirls divine swirls I think it's called the cuddle bug folder just ran that through and um, this little pumpkin I also made um, just out of ovals from the Georgian basics um, Georgian basic shapes cartridge but I'm sure if you do not have that cartridge there are other cartridges that have um, oval shapes you could use any oval shape and what I did was I just layered them some of you may have seen this before you just layered them um, where it's it took three ovals and then I traced around it with my um, it was a brown stampin up marker but you just trace around it half on the paper and half not to do that outline or you could ink it but um, I you cut out the three ovals and the same size and then you put the two down and then I put a pop dot under this one to make that's what I don't know yeah you can kind of see it um, that makes it 3D and this little stump I'm sure you could find something on the Cricut cartridge but for that little thing I just cut out with my scissors a little out of a little brown scrap um, to make for the stump of the pumpkin and it makes cute little 3D pumpkins so that's how I decorated the front and I'm going to try to do this one handed but I tied a little bow too and that these top note things on the top also hide the you know the ribbon that's underneath there so let me try to untie this one handed we'll see how I can do yep there we go and then um, so then it just opens like a little treat box and well, that's not going too good one handed okay there we go so then it just opens and then it's a little box in here so and this is just made out of the same you know the same pattern paper and like I said if you search that on YouTube I'm sure it's probably still there but it was at least a year ago that um, I seen it but she gives you the measurements and I might I might take two pieces of pattern paper tops if that um, to make the box and the, all the top note dies so if you have two of the same color but yeah so then it just fits in here like a box and you can take your ribbon out the ribbon's optional you don't have to put that on there I just thought that was cute to do a match and to tie it up on the side but you could fill it up with treats or give it um, I even seen some people make them as like wedding favors um, they made really cute and of course you just put a you know a, a fancier a fancier swing on it you just put you know like the maybe glitter paper or black and white and then it looks a little more elegant than this you know it's just a little fall box but um but yeah they did really cute things with wedding you know for wedding favors so somebody made a bunch of these which for a wedding favor I mean good good for you if you're able to do it but this was kind of doing just the box I mean I guess after you do so many it would um 
go quickly, but it was a lot of scoring and folding and, you know, ATG tape. I don't, and like I said, it took four, two each. So this was two top note dies cut out. This was two top note dies cut out and run it through the cut bug, things like that. I don't know if I would choose this as, you know, to do the wedding favors, um, just because it takes a lot of work, but maybe if you planned it ahead and maybe, like I said, if you did a bunch of them, um, cause this is the only one I've done. If you do a bunch of them, you probably could do it in your sleep and just do them, whip them out fast. But I think I would choose something a little more simple, if especially if it was a big wedding. But it's just an option, and you could dress them up anyway. You could do a birthday one, and just maybe put a little gift card inside here with some tissue paper, anything. So, just wanted to share that with you, just a quick idea. And like I said, if you wanted to just search it on YouTube, I'm sure you could find um, the great tutorial that the woman had did that shows you how to make the interior of the box just out of paper, so you don't. There's nothing you have to buy. Um, you know, as long as you have the paper on hand. So that's just another idea, and I thank you for watching. Bye.